materials production of substances we use materials which are both natural and man made man made things are also made by processing natural materials rubber and paper are important man made materials that we use daily what is made of rubber elastic bands car tires erasers stamps hoses and so many things rubber has been used for more than a thousand years once upon a time rubber was made from natural sources only which is from the rubber tree or rubber plants most of the rubber trees are found in brazil in india most of the production of rubber is done in kerala first a wide v shaped cut is made in the bark of the rubber tree the gum or sap or latex that comes out of the tree is collected in a cup the latex from many trees is cleaned and treated with chemicals to make it usable rubber nowadays rubber is made artificially in chemical plants that is because there isn't enough natural rubber artificial rubber is made from petrochemicals a scientist named charles goodyear accidentally spilled rubber and sulfur on a burning stove when that happened he noticed that the rubber became hard and less stretchy he repeated the experiment in a systematic way and invented the process of vulcanization thus the invention of hard and tough rubber that could be used for tires was done the process of creating artificial rubber by mixing some chemicals with natural rubber is called vulcanization the amount of sulfur depends on the purpose for which the rubber is used tires erasers and rubber toys have different amount of sulfur in them another man made material is paper paper was invented in china the first paper was created from rags later plant materials such as bark hemp and bamboo were used paper is unusually made from trees that have soft wood like pine or fir the trees have to be cut into logs then the bark of the logs has to be removed then the wood is passed through chippers where spinning blades cut the wood into small 1 inch pieces then the wood chips are cooked in large pressure cookers with water and chemicals these pieces are kept soaking for a long time the pulp is then washed and cleaned colors may be added to it too then it is pushed into a wire screen that helps the water drain away then the dried pulp is passed through large heated dryer rollers to make paper then the paper is checked for thickness color how it holds ink etc then it is cut to size and rolled up that is how paper is made save paper to save trees use paper carefully and recycle the used paper